Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about passing lines from a file. This is really useful if you have a list of accounts. There could be Twitter accounts, Google accounts, Instagram accounts, whatever the case may be. Okay guys, so we're going to jump straight in and so show you how this could be used. Um, I would recommend you watch the video on variables. That would be really helpful. Um, if you haven't done so already after you've watched this video, jump over to that one and things will become a lot more clear. So guys, what I've done is I've made a resource called accounts, which reads from a file. And I'll just quickly show you the file. Um, I've made a file called made up accounts. <laughs> and as you can see, um, I've got uh, Dean 1, Dean 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then it's got the um, two dots and then it's got um, the series of numbers. Now these are going to be our usernames and passwords. So let's just pretend these are Twitter accounts and these are the usernames and these are the passwords. Okay guys? So we separate them with the two dots here. So what we can do now is so like I said sorry guys is I've used that list that I just showed you that as a resource and called it accounts and the second resource I made is just amount of runs so how many um, times to uh, run through the list items so I'm going to hit record bring up our usual screen so what we're going to do first guys is we're going to go to tools and we're going to go to pass line okay and you can read what it says here it says pass line which contains a list of variables and it shows you an example of what you could do with their example it's an email address so it could be email at gmail.com then the two dots to separate and then my pass one so it just shows you that you um, an example with an email address um, and then you put them into variables Okay, so in this case it would be it could be username and password, or you can switch these variables up to whatever you want them to be. Like I said, please um, watch the video on variables; it will become very clear. But what a variable is is a placeholder, a blank canvas. So you could have username and password, and it can. And then what will happen is we can read a line uh, from the file, as you saw with the one that I showed you. Say Dean one. And that could be put into the username variable and then the second part of the line which was um, numbers and that could be transferred over to the variable called password okay guys so what we're going to do we're going to go to it's asking what um, file do we want to use or what um, resource or variable do we want to use to um, split up into the variables so in this case it's accounts press ok and what do we want the variables to be called so I'm going to have username and password depending on what kind of bot you're making you can change these to whatever suits so what's going to happen guys is for each line in the file that you saw the accounts okay it's going to split the first section or before the two dots and it's going to put that part into a, um, a folder or um, a variable they're called okay and it's going to put it into that placeholder called username so it'll be Dean one would be the username for the first line and then the password will be whatever's after the two dots and uh, will be used as the password okay so it basically fills up the resources with the information from our list so we press OK and that's that done so what we're going to do just to demonstrate how this works I'm going to use the log um, so it's under tool still and then we're going to um, show in the log what we've done. So I'm going to put um, your username is and then two dots and then I'm going to add the variable. So I want it to show in the log the username. So what's going to happen now is in, um, each time it reads from the list and put the, the line, the, the first part into a username, the second part into the password. In the log, it's going to show the variable username. So your username is username and your password is. And then we're going to pull up the variable password. So what will happen is for each run of the bot, it's going to take the line from the file, from the resource, the first line and your username is and in that placeholder username it's going to put the first bit of data from the list in this case it will be Dean 1 and your password is and then the part after the two dots the numbers 
will go into the, the password folder. Now you could use these variables anywhere in your bot. So let's just say you're making a Twitter bot and you go to the section that says input your username. You could use the variable username to fill it out and then password. This is obviously good if you have a list of a thousand uh, Twitter accounts etc and it's not limited to just two uh, variables you could have um, a list of usernames passwords and then proxies um, it's endless guys but this is just um, the basic example it does go deeper as we get into the videos um, so we're going to hit OK and then we're going to just so you can see it in action we're going to sleep for five seconds between each action press OK and we're done so guys what we're gonna do now we're gonna run the bot and what will happen is um, I'm gonna set it to run five times so what's gonna happen for each line in the list so let me just show you the list again quickly so for each line in this list it's gonna put the first part before the two dots into the holder or the variable called username and the second part after the dots is going to put into the variable called password now as I said guys you could have another one here a third section a fourth section if you had I don't know um, a phone number that's connected to the account or anything you can think of can go in this file but for now we have a username and password so let's just go run the bot going to run it five times and we're telling um, Bass where the account list is that I just showed you press OK and you'll see here Fred1 in the log your username is Dean1 and your password is and it pulls the password and then again your username is Dean2 and your password is so it's just going over each line in the list and pulling the data and putting the first part into a variable called username and the second part into password so this is great for accounts um, Twitter, any social media accounts if you had a large list um, and you can put these into variables and use them to log in um, you can randomize the list we're going to get into that um, into later in later videos so guys that is how you pass lines from a file and it's going to be very useful in the future okay guys I hope that's helpful and I hope you understand leave comments if there's something you need help with and I will catch you in the next video.